Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the San Rafael Swell, the desert on a beautiful winter morning. It is about 20 degrees out here right now. And I want to show you guys just kind of like what I bring on a car camping trip. I've kind of like organized some new gear items for what I want to accomplish with taking my kids out this year, as well as out with friends like I'm doing right now. But I'll show you kind of like some of the things that I have uh, acquired that have made just the camp life a little bit more enjoyable. So the first thing that I'll show you is actually this tote that I've put together that is basically the camp kitchen and all of the basic items that are smaller items that I would need like lanterns and whatnot. But uh, I've got a one liter pot from MSR. This is a really cool ceramic pot. So we're going simple, not like two burner stove kind of situation on this trip. I've got my Soto Windmaster with the, the gas canister. And then here inside of this bin is where I've just got like the camp kitchen, plates, bowls, that kind of stuff. And a little koozie for the freeze dried meals that we're making, not doing fancy things on this trip. Uh, this really cool crossover kitchen kit that has all of the things that you would need for camp kitchen. So I've got oil and seasonings and a little cutting board and spoon, spatula, and all my utensils and stuff in there. So really cool stuff that makes that camp life a little bit more enjoyable. It doesn't take up a lot of space inside of a tote. But I bring like exploding kittens because uh, you got to have card games when you're playing around camp and other things like utensils and another cutting board with a knife and microfiber towel and fry pans, wipes, hand warmers, bags, uh, wood grills, cutting boards, bags, garbage bags, just all of the stuff that you would need for uh, your car camping needs. And I've got a four gallon water jug here that just is a basic, really simple water jug. But I wanna talk about this table that everything is sitting on. This is a bamboo table that I got from backcountry.com. So Backcountry is actually sponsoring this video. And some of these things I picked up from Backcountry recently to help create this kit. But that's what I love about Backcountry is they have everything that you would need to create any kind of car camping setup that you would need. So even this like big Agnes table that I've got here that uh, rolls up nice and small. This is the sole table. But then this really nice like hard bamboo table that we picked up uh, is just awesome. It doesn't take up a ton of space in the car. When it comes to backcountry and uh, all of the things that they offer, if you ever get stumped on what like makes the most sense for you to get, you can chat with their gearheads. And chatting with their gearheads is awesome because they're gonna answer questions that you have on, well, does this make sense for car camping? I'm gonna be able to put fry pans on this two burner stove or whatever it is. Like they're gonna be able to answer the questions that you have. So, so grateful for Backcountry sponsoring this video and uh, definitely check them out. I've got links in the description for uh, some of this stuff. For you to go check out on backcountry. Now one of the things that I love about like car camping in general is not only the social aspect but I also love creating a opportunity for the best sleep that you could possibly get in the in the backcountry and that comes down to just having a really nice sleeping bag that's going to keep you warm for the temperatures that you're going to be experiencing but also the pad that you bring like i like bringing a plush big pad now when i'm out with my family <laughs> my wife and i will bring like a full queen air bed in our big eight man tent because there's uh, the dog, two kids, my wife and I, so we take up a lot of space and we just want to be comfortable. So I even translate that to trips like this where I've got a three-man tent for my buddy and I and my dog to sleep between us and I've got this awesome stoic sleeping pad that is a uh, self-insulating pad and it just creates a lot of good R-value with the foam insulation that is on the inside of the pad. 
yeah, it's kind of bulky, but when it comes to car camping, having the space in your car to carry really whatever you want to make it as comfortable or not as comfortable as you want it to be, this is the way to go. I just absolutely love these kinds of setups and this stoic pad is a really cool addition to the car camping system and even this tent. Now this is the Sierra Designs uh, Meteor Light three person tent and it's a great option for not taking up a lot of space in your car uh, but giving you a lot of living space for going out on these kinds of trips. So really enjoy this kind of sleeping setup for car camping. One of the things that I love to take on a car camping trip is a portable fire pit like this BioLite fire pit because it adds a little bit uh, different kind of ambiance for the trip, but it's also a great leave no trace option for uh, going car camping. If you uh, don't have a ability to create a fire pit or you just want to create less impact. And I really like that aspect of the, the BioLite. It's not like overly huge and it allows you to actually uh, cook on it. And it's just a nice way to, yeah, like I said, create a leave no trace type of experience with a fire, uh, less smoke and just enjoy that uh, social aspect that you get from a fire pit. So when it comes to the gear that you didn't know you needed for car camping, it really just boils down to having the gear that makes sense for whatever experience you want to have. If you've never been car camping before, it's important to just get out there. It doesn't matter what you take. If you need to just go buy a cheap tent and have basic sleeping bags to bring your pillows and blankets from home, I've done that many, many times in the car camping trips that I've done where we will literally bring the blankets, like quilt pillows from home on a queen or even a full size air mattress. And it's not all this expensive, glamorous, fancy things for you to have a great experience out on a car camping trip. And that's what I love about car camping is it's not about all of the fancy things that you have to have to enjoy yourself. It's about getting out to the destination that you wanna go have a cool experience in. And that's what I love about car camping and why I spend so much time with my family, with my girls, my kids just enjoying really cool places that I don't have to hike in a lot of miles to be able to enjoy them. Some of my best experiences have been out with my kids doing things that are out of the car. The gear that you take with you, if it's a table and uh, chairs and a fire pit, like any of those things, they are going to just maybe enhance the experience that you have and buy and use the gear that makes sense for what you want the goal of your trips to accomplish. So when it comes to car camping, it doesn't matter how you get out there. It doesn't matter what gear you use. I mean, I've got friends here with me today that they didn't even bring a tent. They are sleeping in the back of their car and that's the way to do it. Like it doesn't matter how you get out there, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the gear that I like to take for the trips that I go on that just make camp life that much more enjoyable and simple and kind of bring those creature comforts that you get at home and again do what works for you and enjoy it and want to thank backcountry for sponsoring this video make sure to use uh, my code backcountry exposure to save 15 percent on uh, a future order uh, exclusions do apply with that but yeah the biggest thing from this is get out there and just enjoy being in the backcountry. That's what's important. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you are not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe, do all the things. You're awesome. Have a great day. See you on the next video.